gon' pull up with them sticks and hop out with them choppers Walking out the tent in blue Balenciagas I call her out now I got blood on blue Balenciagas what it do YouTube my name is Bear Witness and today we have more 2k news today we're talking about 2k19 also just want to reiterate if you guys didn't know the prelude for us drops on August 31st so I cannot wait if you guys want to you guys can head over to Twitter while you're there you can follow me but you guys can also at me your screenshots if you guys have some for what you guys think are the best builds that you guys could possibly make from the information we have on the prelude you guys can do that as soon as the prelude drops I'm so curious to see what you guys come up with now besides that today we're gonna talk about some more stuff that Baluba aka Mike Wang aka King Wang decided to tweet out today for us eight hours ago the boy said I know we're a little late but I know we're a little late but it's okay the boy said we made a change to contact dunk packs today it will now be 84 for level 2 contacts and 85 for level 3s there's now a small dunk pack for PG's small G's or shooting shooting guards I don't know what I was on right there and small forwards <laughs> that unlocks at 85 bigs power forwards and center still unlock standing contacts at 75 and 50 driving so we get a little bit more dunk packs as we hit uh, you know our higher tiers of, of play when it comes to slashers so I'm actually super excited about this because I already told you guys that I'm making a slasher archetype this year first I think I'm gonna make two I really came up on this and this is I'm this is like besides the video part because I know it's 2k news but I kind of wanted to get your thought process on this guys so if you guys want to comment down below what your thoughts on this I think I'm gonna make three builds throughout the whole the whole year of 2k19 the first build I'm gonna make is going to be my 6'8 245 230 pound small forward we're gonna make a shooting guard that's DeMar DeRozan I'm not super familiar on his uh, his the what I, what I like his actual real life like weight and measurements and all that so I'm gonna make sure that I go look into that and I want to make a DeMar DeRozan build at some point in time but it's obviously also gonna be a slashing shot creator although that might make my first build a slashing playmaker I'm not sure the benefits of being a slashing playmaker so they both might end up being shot uh, slashing shot creators so I don't know and then my last build is going to be some type of big. I don't know what type of big, but it's going to be a center for sure. But that's all I know on it for now. But definitely tell me, guys, tell me what you guys think about that. Also, another 2K dev decided to talk to us today, Zach Timmerman. He said that they added a triple threat style package to 2K19. So now, when you're in that stance, whereas you get, you, you just received the ball. And you can kind of move your right stick to kind of, you know, try to fake people out the direction you're going. There are specific styles to, that go with the stance, the regular jab, the quick jab, the step over, and the triple pump fake. They're a cool way. He says they're a cool way to differentiate players pre-attack. So that's going to be really fun to use. I don't know about you guys, but I like to really do that when I'm using slashers. So ultimately, I feel like that's more used on slashers than anybody else. I really feel like that's not even something that a lot of people use in their natural play when they play like park. You know, you see it a little bit more in pro-am, but you know, people don't usually go to those types of things, but I've grown to use them in my time playing. So that was actually really good news for me. I don't know about you guys, but I thought so. Now, for you dribble guys out there, yeah, you master elite dribblists. I don't know if dribblist is a word, but yeah. Anyways, there's now signature size up combos. They were all they were called ribble, uh, rhythm dribbles. And you know it's really hard to say rhythm and dribble like it, for me it's like it's like it's weird. Uh but that's not the point. Point is there are three different signature size up combos. They were formerly called rhythm dribbles. Standing, moving and triple threat. All are triggered by flicking right stick up. Now we kind of touched on this when we said the last thing about the uh, the new the the stance where you get the ball and you're kind of you have the triple threat option. You know you can go anywhere, you can go up, you can go down. I mean you can go up to the right, to the left, all that. You already know how it works. But you also have a standing ry rhythm dribble and a moving rhythm dribble. Ultimately, the dribble gods are going to be out here looking real nice okay this year they're gonna be looking real nice so i'm curious to see all the content the 2k community can muster up when it comes to these dribble goods because i think that it's some of the coolest thing is to watch them kind of work because you have to think about how fast their fingers are moving and stuff like that how they kind of have to have what they want to do already in their mindset i think that stuff's awesome i mean i'm a meathead all i do is dunk on people but i do it in style aside from that anyways 
respect to the dribble guards last thing we're going to talk to to you guys about is for the pro-am players you guys that play pro-am consistently and y'all really care about that type of stuff now a person asks can you call a timeout when someone clearly doesn't have possession of the ball and this happens a lot like somebody will have the ball get knocked out of their hands or something you can literally call timeout as long as nobody's touched it and it's still in your possession Beloved says, this, this should, I, that's, that's kind of where I stumble up on, and I'm like, bruh, what do you mean should? But he says, this should be fixed now. Now, the, the same dude goes on to roast him a little bit here at the bottom. He says, it's weird how this was an issue all of NBA 2K18. You would think it's an easy fix, but I guess they didn't care. You're going to have to roast him like that, but it's okay. Anyways, guys, that's all the 2K19 information I have for you guys today. Also, honorable mention, guys, I just wanted to let you guys know if you guys are itching for a new basketball game to go ahead and try out, the NBA Live demo goes live Friday. So, also, that's just something you guys could do. I will be making beta comparisons from the preload to the NBA Live demo. So, I hope you guys will be around for that video also. And everybody, to everybody new that subscribed to the channel recently, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. If you guys are not subscribed yet and you guys are new and you like the content, do something down below. Make sure you guys tell me if you like the content, if you don't like the content, and you know, that's all I want to know. I want to know how I can make better content from you guys and what you guys actually enjoy seeing. Also, if you guys do enjoy the content and you were gracious enough to hit that like button, make sure you go ahead and hit that sub button too because there's only more of it all of 2K19. Thank you guys so much and I will see you guys next time I'm out of here. We gon' pull up with them sticks and hop out with them choppers.